How's it going, everybody? Dragast here, and welcome to Portal Knights. Now, this is supposed to be an adventure sandbox-like game, uh, similar to something like Minecraft, except it's more RPG-like. Uh, a lot of my friends have actually been playing it, and they're saying they really, really like it, and it's definitely not a Minecraft clone, so give it a chance here. We're gonna do a first look, and if you guys like it, maybe we'll do a few more episodes as well with some friends. So yeah, just a warning, I'm going into this totally blind, we're just gonna have some fun today and see what Portal Knights is all about. Now there's male and female, that's good, actually there's a lot of games that don't do that as of late and I don't know why. Big complaint of mine, we can choose, I'm assuming, Warrior, Ranger, or Mage. Now I'm usually the fan of a Ranger, I think I am gonna play Ranger this time. Just because I like to hit people at distances and for whatever reason I just don't like the idea of Mages, maybe because they're fake, I mean... I want to believe that mages are real, but obviously, I'm, I'm gonna say a ranger is more realistic than a mage. Uh, anyway, so we have a character customization here, and actually, it's really impressive. 19 different hairstyles, 7 different beard styles. Oh, yes! That is an awesome beard. Okay, I'm gonna make my character as weird as possible with this. It's gonna be kind of difficult because it's cartoony and cute, but I think I can do it. Okay, so I opted for a reptilian Dr. Phil. I gotta say, I have fucking nailed it. Uh, let's put a picture of Dr. Phil on the screen in case you don't know who Dr. Phil is for whatever reason. So yeah, I'm now Dr. Phil the reptilian. Sweet. Uh, we got voices here. Okay, they're both kid voices. So I'm a childlike Dr. Phil reptilian. Got it. I mean, come on though. We can't have some manly voices. It's just this shit. Seriously, there's no difference. Okay, well, whatever, I'm just gonna pick number two. Let's let's move on here. Okay, in character name, we're actually going to name it Dragas. I know people would love me for me to name it Dr. Phil, but I'm actually gonna be playing with my friends, and I'd rather just stick with my actual name here. So I can play in local public, or I can actually join. Can I make a private one? For right now, because we're checking out the game, I just want to make a private lobby where I can play by myself. But you can, in fact, play this with your friends. It's actually suggested you play with your friends, but I like to stick to, you know, being my lone self when I check out new games. So, here we go. Let's get into it. Universe 1. Sounds good to me, and we're starting. Oh shit, we're going on an LSD trip right at the start of the game. Peaceful Hills, level one. And here we are, into the world. Yes, before you leave, it does look a lot like Minecraft. Let's just get that out of the way right now. I have been told it doesn't play like it though, so I'm really excited to see it. And you gotta admit, this is a nice looking Minecraft-like game. Okay, this is looking like it's a tutorial level, uh, and it's typical to most RPGs, it's asking me to kill some enemies, so I see something bouncing over in the distance here, I'm gonna try and shoot this motherfucker. Oh my god, what is this, Slime Rancher? Are these seriously little slimes? Okay, for whatever reason, these games always have slimes. Holy shit, Jesus. Okay, you know what, I, I have to go to first person. So yes, there is first and third person, which is a huge benefit when you are trying to range. I do like that you actually have to aim your shots, though. It's not like a lot of RPGs where you just, you know, button mash. At least with this one, I'm actually aiming it. Very similar to actually Cube World, if you remember that game that never fucking came out and wasted everyone's money. Okay, but we did the first thing, kill three enemies. Now I gotta collect two portal shards. I'm collecting shit right now. I wonder, can I actually, like, start digging and whatnot as well? Okay, so I just put my hands on. Let's see, can I just hit it? Oh, yes, I can. Very similar to Minecraft, and I have nothing wrong with that. A lot of people just immediately hate on a game because it takes inspiration from Minecraft. No, Minecraft is an amazing game, and I think there should be games like it, uh, as long as they're, you know, different enough to not be considered a clone. Okay, let's check out the inventory in this game as it is asking me to do that. So we got a nice cartoony art style here. Like, I am loving this art style. It wants me to drag my health potions down here. We also got a pioneer's flag. I believe this is what you get if you are an early access uh, member of this game. Can we equip this? Hold on, let me try and get to my actual person. I don't know how to equip it. Do I just double click it or do I put it maybe down here? Let's try that and hit number six. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Uh, can I put this on? No, I, I'm just holding it. Oh, there's actually a cape thing, so I'm assuming, yes, if I click this, I can actually equip my cape. So my first piece of gear is a cape. Now, this actually has stats on it, mana regen, as well as health regen. So yeah, I'm getting a very big RPG feel to this. Uh, we also got our crafting menu here, so you can kind of see what these, uh, what this game has to offer. Uh, these portal stones are how you get to new levels. Now, my brief understanding of this is what my friends explained, is you have to craft the portal to go on to the next land, and the lands get progressively and progressively harder. It's not like uh, Minecraft or something where the world is endless, these are actually smaller worlds where you have tasks to do to move on to new worlds. 
Now, I don't know if, like, you build a house, for example, and you leave this world, if you can come back to it or if it comes with you. I have no idea, but let's, uh, see what else we can do in here. We can make a stone pickaxe if we get some stone and some timber, a sharpening stone. Uh, we got crafting, uh, just a workbench right now. Weapons doesn't really show anything yet. I wonder if you have to, like find recipes or maybe unlock them but you can make fireplaces yeah, I mean I mean typical to most survival games uh, you get the idea with the crafting but very easy to use very pretty we also got a map here which whoa I did not expect this kind of map but yes this is the basic idea so I'm currently at level one and I can go to level two if I unlock the portal and as you can see you get harder and harder as you go through so yeah really interesting idea definitely I wouldn't say this is like Minecraft at all I mean, aside from the art style, obviously, I mean, it takes a lot of inspiration from that. But uh, let's just wander around here and see what we can get into. I actually wandered over to this house, and it showed me a new quest. So I guess if you wander around, you can do, like, mini quests on the map. So old farmhouse. Repair broken workbench by crafting its upgrade. Craft scout tunic at the workbench. Equip your new scout tunic. Get rid of the crates. Collect loot from the crates. Okay, first of all, let's get rid of the crates, because I like smacking things and collecting loot, and we are probably... Oh, I'm building shit. Oh, God. I don't want to build! No, stop! Please! Well, I don't know how I started building. I'm assuming I just uh, accidentally hit number two on my keyboard. But yes, as you can see, I guess we're collecting loot right now. I have no idea what I'm getting. We can open our inventory and check, I guess. Uh, let's see. No, we aren't getting anything. What the hell is this? Uh, there's also le a level system in this, by the way, with talents. I mean, you get it. Typical RPG. I don't need to explain that anymore, do I? Oh, I am getting refined wood blocks. I just realized that that's what it was giving me. So let's try and get inside here. I have no idea what that says, but I have to craft a scout tunic at the workbench. So everything is freaking broken in here. Okay, so the workbench requires four wood logs. So we guess, I guess we don't have any of those right now. So I'm going to, oh shit, is he an enemy? I have no idea. He's kind of cute though. I like him, but I'm assuming if I whack the tree, as with most games like this, you get wood logs. Okay, let's go into this garden of some sort and steal their trees, I guess. Okay, we got six wood logs. Let's, let's repair this bad boy so I can create my scout tunic. Oh, pretty. Repair the workbench. Look at that. That feels really epic. And we are going to use this to make, I, I, I believe it was some sort of armor. Scout tunic, the one with the star on it. Now I need cotton cloth. So I gotta go figure out how to get cotton now. God damn it. Why don't you explain this to me? Are you cotton? What are you? Oh, yeah, there we go. We got three cotton. I don't remember how many I needed. I think I only needed two. Let's go check again. And it is turning into nighttime. So, yes, there is a day-night cycle as well. That's good to know. Oh, hey, berries. Everybody likes some berries, so let's just grab these as well. There's actually a lot of different loot here, as you can see, uh, which is a good thing. Oh, I guess there was a bunch of cotton right beside the house. I probably should have took that, but I already got some, so let's craft this thing. Oh, I need cotton cloth, so I need to refine this. Is there any way... Oh, there we go. I can actually refine it right here. So I need four cotton for every cotton cloth. I guess it's good I found that cotton little field over here, because we're going to need some now. All right, I'm going to take all this cotton because I'd like to make more gear than the suggested gear. Because, I, like I said, I believe you keep it when you change worlds. So if, if we can get geared up on this world, obviously we'll have an easier time on world two. Okay, let's actually try and craft the cotton now. I probably got quite a bit of it. Can, can you actually... Oh, you can queue up things. That's huge because I hate waiting for shit to be done. And look at this. It's actually just going on its own. It's a fucking magical workbench. That's amazing. Okay, it's done, so I have to grab it. There we go. I have grabbed my cotton, and now we can go over here, and I believe it was only two, so we should be able to craft the tunic, as well as maybe the pants. Do I have enough? Oh, I don't have enough. I thought I grabbed five. Oh, do I have to grab it first? I think I do. So you have to grab everything you make. So let's make the pants as well. And can I make this helmet? Yes, I can. Perfect. So we don't really need gauntlets or anything yet. We're just going to do uh, some basic armor here so here we go we got the scout tunic i wish you could double click that's my one complaint you got to go over here it just takes i mean it's just something to get used to uh which i'm not used to doing it but look at that helmet you are one fancy motherfucker there we go we got our tunic as well as our pants geared the hell out already okay but the whole farm is done so that's good i wonder what else we can wander around and find in this wonderful little world here looks like we got a castle over here i wonder if i can help that in any way 
Okay, the castle doesn't have anything, but it does have a basement, and usually there's deep, dark ghouls inside basements. So I'm gonna head down here. Holy shit, this is going really freaking deep. Is there anything here? Ooh, can I fight someone? I want. Oh, there is. There's skeletons in here. Sweet. And oh my god, the animations in this game are fucking perfect. Okay, next door, here we go, and is this some sort of loot room? It's looking like it is. Oh, yes, give me the loot. Wait, 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 whatever this is, I want it. Oh, there we go, I got raw electro quartz, four minor healing potions, and three cotton. So I'm immediately realizing you have to kind of wander around these maps to actually get into trouble. What the fuck? How am I? Wait, wait. I, I, I just want to get out. Is there any way to get the fuck out of here now? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm playing a creative game. I can make my own way out. Well, thankfully, I got some freaking rocks while I was uh, outside because... Or, sorry, dirt, rather, because I don't think I'd be able to get out of here. Jesus. Okay, there's some sort of other dungeon here. Stone mine. Mine a stone block by holding left mouse button on it. Craft a stone pickaxe. I also realized you can actually read these signs, but you got to open them up. Mining with a pickaxe is much faster. Good to know. Okay, but this is all the mine is. Seriously, this mine has just started. Let's see if I can actually craft one here. I'm going to say I'm going to need some sort of ingredients. Stone pickaxe. Okay, we got enough wood. We just need some stone blocks. Now, how am I going to get stone blocks without just mindlessly whacking these things? I don't think it's possible. So, here we go. We're just going to have to hit these things for a little while. Actually, they don't take long at all to uh, be mined, so that's not too bad. Okay, let's just mine a little bit more here uh, because I think we needed two or three. And what the hell is that behind here? Oh, I picked it up. I got two stone blocks, raw electro quartz, quartz three minor healing potions, and three cotton. I love the, the uh, kind of like exploration aspect of this game because you get a lot of rewards the more time you take on a level, which is really nice. But I also got to craft a stone pickaxe. So let's do that right now. I should have enough to do it, right? Oh, shit, I don't. I need one more block. Okay, let me just do that really quickly. Come here, little block. There we go. Come on, come on. There we go. And craft that stone pickaxe. There we go. I should have it in my inventory now. And I can equip it. So we're just going to put that right there. Perfect. Now let's see how much faster it is. Three hits. Not too bad at all. Can I, let's actually kind of explore in this thing if we can. Looks like there's... Is that gold? I wish that was gold. It better be. Oh, I just actually mined outside of the mine. This isn't a, a well-placed mine, to be honest. It should have went a little deeper because I don't really feel... Like, it's a mine. Holy shit! Where the hell? Okay, we are definitely going down here, ladies and gentlemen. This might be a stupid idea. I see some glowing things. I feel like I'm gonna die, but, uh... Wait. Is this... Oh, 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 oh! Oh, I'm so sorry! I don't know what you are, but I'm... Oh, you're a venom maggot. Okay, well, we got some garden mushrooms now. And it looks like the level just actually ends right here. Oh, Jesus Christ, these things keep spawning, though. I don't, I don't feel safe here at all. Uh, we got another one over here. The the aiming in this game is just really well done. It's not really that hard to aim. It basically auto-aims after a certain amount, but uh, it does feel really good. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I'm just going to build all the way up. Uh, looks like we hit the roof here. Well, thankfully, I have a mining pickaxe, so we can mine right through. It looks like we have a long way to go, though. Man, look at the distance reach on this thing, though. I am still freaking mining it. That is the distance. That's crazy. Oh, there we go! I have found the exit! That's one way to get out of a big-ass cave. Just dig my way right through the ground. And we are back to the light. How nice. Portal. Only portal knights know what lies beyond. Prepare well before you leave. Well, I think I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good prepared. I, I mean, I could s take my time and do a few more things. Looks like I have uh, a few more things I gotta do with the dungeon tower and whatnot. But I'm actually gonna start, start trying to build this portal. So I think I got a few... Oh, I actually don't. I got these blue portal stone shards. Okay, so that's what I need to build the portal, I'm assuming. Okay, blue portal stone. It takes two of these shards, so I don't think I exactly have enough yet. I think I need one more. Uh, let's look at my inventory really quickly here. Because I believe, yeah, it gave me four. Now, I believe there's one, two. Oh, no, actually, we have just enough to leave this place. So, technically, I'm assuming if I build this... We can definitely leave if we want to. There we go. Have opened the outgoing path. Okay, be wary of inv invading Wraith. Oh, oh, sorry, Wrath. Okay, well, we can go through now. 
if we want to. Let me just take one more wander around and see if I didn't miss anything. I honestly just want to kill some more of these cute little guys because they're so fun to kill. I mean, look at me. I am an archer pro. I'm lobbing these shots like crazy. Okay, let me just see what's up here, if anything. And if there isn't, yeah, this is just the edge of the map. So I think it's time for us to go. Can I actually range these guys from here? I, I love how it automatically lobs the shots when you use a long shot. Like, the closer I am, obviously the straighter it goes. If I want to shoot, for example, this over here, it lobs it a bit. If I want to go over there, it lobs it even more. Brilliant design, to be honest. And for the record, because whenever I praise a game, people say, Oh, you're probably sponsored, that's why you're saying these things. These guys are giving me no money to check this out. They were nice enough to give me a key for the game to check out, but I am not getting paid to say good things. I just honestly feel like this is a great game. Uh, we also got some wheat over here, it seems like. Let's just gather a few things before we leave, in case the world that we go to is like a desert or something, and we actually need these resources. I'm going to gather them before we leave. Holy shit, did I just get a... I did get some water out of that, so that's interesting. Okay, I could honestly spend hours just on this first level trying to gather things, but let's go through and see what happens. Complete the remaining quests and step through the portal to discover a new world. I guess that's what we're doing. Whoa! Gotta love these wormholes! There we go, and... is it, are, are we ever gonna make it? Dusty Mountains, level two. Oh, hey, look, I called it! We are in the desert. Okay, I'm immediately seeing this wonderful little gem over here, and I want to go mine that thing. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Yes, raw electro quartz. I wonder what I can make with that. Okay, guys, well, I think this is a good time to end this first look, because, well, we did one world. I want to kind of want to do one world every episode. I probably will join some of my friends, or my friends will join me sometime. Oh, God, is that a... I think that's like a Viking. I, I'm not going to go over there in case he attacks me. But yeah, I think this is a good time to end it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Obviously, I want your input on what you think of this before I do any more of it. I'm enjoying it. I think it'd be fun to try and see how far we can get. And uh, yeah, just see what this game has to offer. If you want to know anything more about the game, links will be in the description. Feel free to check them out. And yeah, guys, I will see you in the next one.